hello you guys and welcome back to another video i'm not gonna call this video a vlog because this video is gonna be like a a story time we're gonna call this a story time because y'all this dropped in my spirit at the very second it, it came at the right time i had to tell this to you guys so all of you guys watch it and subscribe to my channel please stay tuned this is going to be a very personal story and it's another testimony that i'm going to have to share with you guys so just stay tuned i want to tell you guys how y'all know i have been getting closer to god and i'm gonna be real with y'all it has not all been peaches and cream i can truly say that when you seeking god the devil don't like that and we got to think like he come through people he come through circumstances he comes through sometimes animals and just all kind of different spirits and i just wanted to tell you guys how god has been delivering me from fear something that i struggled with a long time was fear i was scared of a lot of things of spiders like look animals i was scared of certain people certain types of people i was scared of failure i was afraid of intimacy i was afraid of a lot of things y'all i was scared of things that people didn't know that i was scared of but you know who knew god and the enemy knew and the enemy always will use those things to scare me even more and when you in god there's no fear you have peace and you have a sound mind and uh, i'm sorry y'all like y'all see how i'm looking around sometimes i get paranoid but i notice that with my walk with god especially the closer i get to him the devil is coming stronger like it's no joke y'all like i'm gonna try not to cry and hold back tears on this video but it's serious. Y'all, I'm so sorry. I'm trying so hard not to cry. And I don't want y'all to laugh because it may sound funny, but it's not a joke. Like, spiritual warfare, like, y'all got to remember, we are in the world, but we are not of this world. And he says that the devil is going around seeking whoever he may devour. devour. And he's using different kind of tactics. And for me, he used scare tactics. So... Yesterday, I mean, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a backtrack because, like I said, with God, you got to have receipts. Yesterday, I was having a really good day. Thank you, God. And out of a, out of a nowhere, something happened that threw me off track. I can't even remember. I, I remember what it was, but I'm not going to speak. But it was something that threw me off track that really shouldn't have that I need to work on being calm, being peaceful. And not letting stuff throw me off. That's another thing that um, devil use frustration, confusion. And I remember going out to get something to eat. And I went to a park. And this park is a beautiful park. A peaceful place. But one thing that I noticed was that it's, it's like a wooden place that you can walk on or sit on. And then it's a river. One thing that I noticed that the river was high. I mean... It was surrounding the the walkway like the the water was extreme I it was extremely high and something told me the Holy Spirit to watch out for like just watch out for the water like you can't stay here too long watch out for the watch out for something and I remember sitting down and I was like I'm gonna sit out here and I'm gonna pray I'm gonna pray I'm gonna sit here I'm gonna pray and I remember feeling very uncomfortable and I looked over and it was the alligator up on the water just watching me. And I got scared as you know what, trying to pick up my stuff, trying to run. Can't even get out of time, trying to run. Oh, I'm sorry, y'all, I heard something jump, y'all. I rebuke you in the name of Jesus. Anyway. I remember running and I still end up praying, but I felt bad. I was like, you know what? I don't care how much God does not give us a spirit of fear. You should have stayed there. You should have prayed. But you had to think like some spirits being animals. And I'm going to give you another, another example. The day before yesterday, I was out here. It's going to get real, y'all. So just be ready for the tears if I start crying. 
just the other day when I was out here running, running a mile, thanking God for giving me strength and endurance. I was on my last lap, almost done. And I saw a black snake. And I don't fool with snakes. If somebody got a snake in their house, they can't be trusted. I don't fool with them. I ain't mean to say it like that, but I don't fool with it. And it was an all black snake. And it slithered across from me. And I said, I got scared, y'all. I didn't even finish my lap. I, it went like around a tree. And I did it. I was peeking over the tree, but some, I ended up leaving. And I felt bad. But you, I was like, you know, that's the devil just trying to scare you, trying to get you off course. That snake wasn't going to touch me. <laughs> and then, I think this one is scariest. I'm, this is this one is scariest. I was at a loved one's house, sitting on her couch, and I don't know where it came from, but I saw the huge. It had to be this big, y'all. I promise you, a, the hugest spider tarantula that I have ever seen in my life. That was the first thing I saw. And I remember jumping off that couch and running to the bathroom, about to get in the shower and shut the door. I was about to hide in the cabinet, y'all. It was the, I, it, it looked like something out of a movie. And my grandma, my grandma's so funny. My, my great grandma, she went and she just killed it. And she was like, baby, this mean good luck. She was like, girl, we got some money coming soon. But I, I kid you not, I know what it is. And I just said it to say this, y'all. Oh, oh, sorry, I got I heard a noise, and I can't, I'm so sorry, y'all. Open up your Bible and read it every day, and pray without ceasing. I still struggle with fear, and I know that the closer I get to God, the more it's gonna come. You see how you see how like the enemy he tried to throw different things. But God doesn't give us a spirit of fear. He gives us a spirit of peace and a sound mind. A, a million may rise against you, but they all fall at your feet. All that stuff that I'm scared of. And if any of y'all are scared of anything, just remember, as long as you got God by your side, it ain't going to touch you. It's going to try you, but it ain't going to touch you. That's what I need y'all in the comments, please. Send some praying hands. I need prayers. I need prayers. Because it ain't like every day is something. And today was the tip of the iceberg. This is what made me want to come and tell y'all the truth. I went to a gym. And I've been going to this gym. And I know this little stuff. Another thing, y'all, pray for discernment. That's to be able to pick up on things and notice things. And... I someone I had someone help me with things. I basically like a little trainer type thing. And then it led to something else that made me uncomfortable. Not nothing that he specifically did. It's just how the thing had carried on. And basically I was just saying, you know what? I don't need you here anymore. I got what I need. And all of a sudden this man started saying like crazy. Not just really un not not nice things i'll say that and another thing that i have been working on is trying to stay calm in certain situations and then truly handle no matter what is thrown at me whether it's from a child of god or the enemy handle it in the most grateful and peaceful way and all of a sudden i was like look we could wrap this up i'm done and this man slammed the table i'm like man you work here like why are you doing all this? Like, you going to get paid either way. I You doing too much. Like, you being too pushy. And I remember going to my car, and I prayed, y'all. I prayed. I could barely even move. I didn't even want to drive. I was like, oh, yeah, I'm not going to that gym no more. I, I'm i just going to work at home. I was scared, y'all. I was like, I don't want this man to do. When I was leaving, I didn't even want to walk past the door. I wanted to go somewhere else so he ain't see me because how he was acting. And I prayed, y'all. I prayed. I prayed. And I just had to say the 23rd Psalm. I'm actually proud of myself because I have been rehearsing it. I want to learn 
it everything the, the know off the top of my head so when things like that come i can just say it to myself off the bat and it bring me peace because that's what god has truly been doing he bring me peace but you have to remember the enemy comes to steal kill and destroy he don't want us to have peace he wants us to be scared he wants to be afraid he wants us to tremble like him because he's a liar a deceiver and a coward thank you holy ghost that's what he wants so we can't be like that but i just want to take the time to thank god because i'm gonna close this out and i'm gonna tell y'all this was the highlight of my day this what made me share my testimony with y'all when I was leaving, I sat in my car for a long time and I prayed, I prayed. I said, God, if I did anything wrong in that situation, forgive me, help me, teach me how to have knowledge, teach me how to stay calm, teach me how to push through, teach me how to not get scared. And I ended up leaving and I was driving and there was a car in front of me that had a cross in the back of it. It was just like coincidental. And I was like, thank you, God, for always being with me. You know, when you walking with God, you got, I have to remember he's in front of me. He's behind me. He's on the side. But that don't mean that the enemy isn't around you. And he will come in any way that he can. If he saw something else in the past that was getting to you and it can't get to you anymore, he going to come even stronger. That's why you have to pray without season. Now, now I know why they say that. Anytime anything come, you pray. I don't care how little or how small it is. You may think it's something small, but the whole time it's something that the enemy using to get to you. But because you overlooked it, he going to use it again in the, in, the, in the future. So pray with us, season, guys. Know that I love you. And I just want to tell you that that is my testimony. God is going to continue to deliver me from fear. And I know that as I get closer to God, I'm going to share everything with y'all because it has been getting serious. This ain't no game. I know on my on my um YouTube channel, I post a lot of vlogs. I post a lot of cute stuff, but now we're gonna post the real stuff, and it don't get realer than this world. And we're not of this world. It don't get, but it don't get no realer than like this world, the things that happen in the spiritual realm. Something that I never for, I never forget. Someone told me when I was in high school, we are in the spiritual realm more than we are in the physical realm everything can look good out here but on the inside it's some things and people and even ourselves that we can't see that is controlling us manipulating us causing us to do certain things that's why you have to open up this bible when like like go to the back of your bible if you stress if you sad if you lonely if you anxious if you have whatever it is it is a remedy. It is it, just pray about it and thank God for it. Thank God for everything in advance because he is almighty. He is almighty God. And as long as he is working in my life, I'm going to talk and I'm going to tell y'all to because this, this, this world is something else. And sometimes we don't know. We overlook it because I was in the world. I can tell you that right now because the stuff that I was that I'm seeing now, I didn't pay attention. It didn't bother me. But that's because the enemy said, oh, yeah, you good. You with us. We ain't gonna fool with you. <laughs> we ain't gonna fool with you because you with us. But when you leave and you step into where you need to be, where you have to be, where God has called you to be, it's gonna be chaos. But let me tell you something else. God gives us a peace that surpasses all understanding. And no matter what comes your way, no matter what the enemy throws your way, you just rebuke it in the powerful name of Jesus. That's all you do right there. So I love you guys so much. Thank y'all. Please give this a video a thumbs up so we can get out there and probably reach a lot of people who may struggle with fear. Because I struggled with fear for a long time. For a long time. But I just praise God in advance for delivering me. And thank y'all so much for taking the time to watch this video. Hey, And stay tuned. See y'all in the next video. I'm out.